Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Abhishek and I'm currently a third year medical student at Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. In this session, we are going to look at how to pass first year of MBBS and this is episode 2. And in the episode 2, we are going to look over the biochemistry. What are the important topics, what you need to understand and how to present in the paper. Let's watch. primary mistake the students tend to make is that we put more focus on anatomy and physiology. You know since the starting we uh, begin to study anatomy because it will be fun and as the months pass by in the first year of MBBS we will uh, we'll realize that most of our time has, spent, has been spent with studying of anatomy and physiology and uh, the students when they get bored with anatomy and physiology that is when they come to uh, biochemistry. So many of you will be studying mainly these three books, uh, leaving apart this they will be studying Satyanarayana, Vasudevan and uh, since I told you only one month is that for the final exams, they will slowly climb up to this book. Okay, the many of you will be reading for this book that is Prasad M. Manjisham. So, uh, biochemistry you will have a total of two theory papers, 100 marks each, and the portions for both of the papers will be different. So, what you need to understand as the number one point is the second paper of biochemistry will be comparatively more easier than the first paper. So, this is what you need to understand. Now, it doesn't matter if you have not studied since the beginning of the uh, first year of MBBS, if you have not touched by chemistry and you have just realized that only one month is left for the final exams and uh, the test books seem bulky but it is not. Okay. We will go through unit wise and understand that what are all the important things that you need to know and how to uh, focus effectively on the biochemistry. So, I will be, uh, as I have read Satya Narayana, so I will be comparing with this. So, we will see in that. When it comes to the contents, the first thing we have is the chemical constituents of life. So, in this you will, you will uh, understand about the biomolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, amino acids and nucleic acids. So, these are all the basic uh, unit that you need to understand when it comes to biochemistry and most of these topics you will be studied, studied in 12th class or 11th class. So, this is not uh, much of a thing to worry about because when you just read it, you will be able to grasp it and understand all as well as you can will be able to put it towards in the final exams as well. So the first unit must be comparatively easy if you, are, if you are just read it only once. Now moving on to the second unit that is the physiology, physiological biochemistry. In, the, in this we have digestion absorption, plasma proteins, hemoglobin and the biological oxidation. So the major important topic is biological oxidation and hemoglobin and porphyrin. So this is what you need to understand from the uh, biochemistry. Hemoglobin and por porphyrin as well as biological oxidation. Biological oxidation as same uh, you will be studied in 12th class in the biology. And uh, these plasma proteins and digestion, this will be mainly focused in the, from the physiology point of view. So, if you have read the physiology, these two topics will be easier. Moving on to the uh, unit 3, that is the metabolism. Now, this is the uh, major problem of many of the students when it comes to metabolism of biochemistry. So, what do we have? We have metabolism of carbohydrates and lipids, proteins and nucleotides. So, these are the uh, four major uh, topics. Carbohydrates and lipids are in the paper one, as well as uh, nucleotides and metabolism are in the paper 2, I guess. I don't know, I'm not sure, but uh, look into that. So, in all of these metabolisms, you will have a total of uh, cycles, uh, gluconeogenesis, glycogenolysis, whatever, okay, the, all those cycles, you have to uh, read once from the textbook and make a note of it, of that cycle in your own handwriting and paste it somewhere on the wall so that when you, look, when you get up and look at it, you will be able to visualize all of those cycles and uh, when it comes to metabolism, well, the thing is, uh, the key point is that you have to practice so much, okay, keep practicing the important cycles that you are worried about, you know, whenever you are sitting down, lying down, just uh, scribble the cycle down so that you will be able to remember and you will be able to present it better in the final exams. Then following in the unit 4, we have clinical biochemistry and nutrition. In this, the important ones are the organ function tests, uh, renal function tests, uh, uh, etc. So, these organ function tests are important, understand that. Then following we have the uh, important that is uh, water electrolyte and acid base as well as the uh, nutrition. So, these must be comparatively easy. Then following we have the molecular biology and bio biotechnology and these are all the important topics uh, again you have you must have studied in the 12th class as well but 12th class biotechnology. So, if you can remember that these topics become again easy. Then the following we have the is the current topics that is the human genome project, gene therapy, bioinformatics these are all the very small topics 3 to 4 pages, 5 to 6 pages. So, if you just uh, sit down for 1 hour you will be able to finish up to 4 topics. So, these current topics are very very important especially in this the insulin, glucose, homeostasis, diabetes mellitus as well as the cancer, AIDS as well as uh, you have you do have free radicals and antioxidants. So, these are the important topics in the uh, current topics that is the unit 6. Then following you have some basics to learn biochemistry. 
you can just go over it so okay so these are all the main contents of the biochemistry in the uh, this book satyanarayana so this is what you need to majorly focus on so this is what you need to understand when it comes to biochemistry i have explained to you all of the important units and topics and what are the important topics from each of those units and you should majorly focus on the metabolism of biochemistry and as and when you practice the, all of the cycles of the metabolism and as and when you go through the revision of uh, all of the remaining topics that are just discussed then the passing biochemistry must be uh, very easy for you so this is what you need to understand so the second important thing is there is a book called singhi etiraj okay and in this book the author preferably writes down all of the important questions that have been repeated in the past 10 to 15 years and uh, mo and uh, he will mention it specially as rs3 rs4 whatever so those are all those questions which have been repeated uh, which have been repeated multiple times from the given unit or topic so you need to understand you need to have a uh, very good grasp of all of the topics of rs3 rs4 rs2 whatever has been marked in each of those questions so those are all the main important topics that you need to study now the last mistake that you should not commit when you are studying biochemistry is that you will uh, start begin with the satyanarayana or vasudevan and slowly when the time is less and la like this uh, when there is only one month for the final exams you will switch over to rm prasad so that's a mistake that you should not do if you have been studying since the starting rm prasad then it's not much of a worry but don't just skip over the books because what happens some of the topics will be studied from this book and uh, if the same question uh, comes from uh, comes in the university exams you will be not able to recall because at the last moment you have studied this book so i'll always prefer you to stick to one book and if you have just panicking and uh, if you are not studied any of these two books and if you are just wondering how to start where can i end up in the biochemistry exams then preferably for the last one of the uh, for the last one month preparation of the biochemistry uh this uh, rm prasad book is also a wonderful book so it's more like a notes of these two bulky books so from this book you need to understand every point and note down and also practice the cycles and everything will work out for you in the university examinations and the last thing to remember when you are studying biochemistry is that always please 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 make sure that you will revise as much of as much as possible because the biochemistry is a volatile subject you will tend to forget many of the enzymatic reactions all of those cycles as well so make sure you revise at least 3 to 4 times before the final exams whatever the topic it may be just keep throw keep throwing up the pages keep looking at the diagrams and just keep scribbling through the pages of the biochemistry textbook because it will be worth it when you will be sitting alone in the examination hall and you will be thinking some of those will be recaptured in your memory and you will be able to put it into better words so this is very important i am telling you make sure that you will revise as much as possible okay it's not like you have to complete entire syllabus in one go okay it's not like okay i have not i have skipped some of the important topics i was i did not study some of the topics i should go over there i should go over through that in the last minute no don't do that whatever you studied let it be that make sure you revise it as much as possible so yes guys this was just uh, another session on how to pass first year of mbbs and in this session i just talked about biochemistry so i hope you got learned something from this session so thank you guys thank you for watching and uh, if you did make sure to spread this word to all of your first year mbbs students or friends who are studying in other medical colleges so that they will also understand what are what are all the key important points you will be missing out so especially here in bangalore medical college we as personal seniors will go to the juniors and uh, we will explain how to write the university papers what are all the important topics to study in the uh, all of the different subjects as well that's it guys thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye